Welcome to the Laws of Grace. I'm Jason Hopkinson for AwakenedEssence.com. The journal, how important is the journal? I mention it a lot. And uh, as you would have gathered by now, the awakening process is about habit formation, your, your capacity to relentlessly be entering presence and building that habit so unconsciously it changes. You're never going to kill your ego. <laughs> You're never going to dispatch your personality. Um, and when you're not present and you're not consciously here, being at choice in that place of peace, stillness, allowing what is, then you're not going to truly abide in that place of divinity. So how do you form the habit? This is why I talk about the journal. Got some of my mellow roof friends in the background. Some people are very resistant to practices that will help the habit. And for those of you that are in the laws of grace, what were your multipliers? So for those of you that are on the correct presence practice course, you're seeing this one because it's important. And the laws of grace extends a lot of the things we cover in the correct presence practice section. The difference between your mind and real presence what's the difference and how do you not stuff it up <laughs> because we have our bad habits which stuff it up the four steps are, 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 are diamond level awesomeness this has become very obvious to me in the now nine months i've been recording this course because i'm seeing what other people are doing that are, are hindering them significantly And you have free will, time, attention. So where are you, what, what, what activities in your time that you have <laughs> are you applying with your attention to this goal and, and whatever that goal is for you, right? Free will, your choice. Not everybody wants to be blazingly enlightened or be blazingly happy when hell's going down. Yeah, we all want that. That's, that's prime directors of the unconscious so this is what the journal does the journal is working with your unconscious mind it's reinforcing that habit they're so mellow so to be present by default so you're always present even when you're not consciously choosing to be present becomes the unconscious default at the abiding phase And for the, those of you that have done the Laws of Grace and you've got your multipliers on the maths, uh, you, we can bring it down to months, eh? This is why this is mathematical and the phases are the same for the next, the second cycle of awakening. That's why I do my journal, so I can write down what I had trouble with or how it was, so that I can go back and redefine it later. Evidence, backing it up with evidence. So this is what your journal is really important for. So you can see where you stuff up and see where you're too lazy. I'm lazy. It's taken me <laughs> an extra three hours to get here today because I'm processing some really incredible stuff right now that's transformational for me. And uh, I need to balance that with working on this course. It's always a dance. It's always a conscious choice and seeing what buttons get pushed and what their reactions are and what I choose to do about it. This applies to you in your life, eh? So in terms of the journal, I cannot recommend it enough and if you choose not to do it, then that's, that's cool. Everything's going to take longer because the journal is a handwriting process. I, I would recommend you do it in a book so you can present it as though it was evidence in a court of law about your practice, your, what you think happened, what your judgments were, what, what stuff you wanted to vomit out. So it's acknowledged, you know. If you write it out, you're acknowledging it, eh? This is neurology. 
or what do I say your unconscious mind and your nerves are and, and being grounded in your body. <laughs> Step one, where are you going? Sacrum. And as you feel your sacrum, squeeze a muscle, butt cheek, pelvic floor, hamstring. Feel that visceralness and notice where your consciousness is at the same time. How, how expanded are you or not expanded are you? Are you shut down? Are you numbed out? It's good to notice these things, you know, has, has something bad happened and you're still jilted from it? It's all okay, no forcing. We get into that in the laws of grace. Further through. No creating. So, I'm not creating space. Oh, well, I'm feeling it though. Because it's here. Nuanced, practiced. So your journal is where this stuff goes. And it reinforces to your unconscious when you are choosing to practice consciously like you are as you're watching this video or listening to this video as you're driving. Be aware of your body, your foot. Where is it on the accelerator? Being aware of your RPMs in the car if you're driving. Peripheral vision, very, very safe. Peripheral vision is the safest vision to be in when you're driving. Turns the whole brain on, alpha brainwave state. Takes you into presence. Rather than being stuck in fairyland about what you would like to say to your boss or someone that's annoyed you. So by all means, don't do the journal. Just notice that that will have a massive impact on your multipliers. Because it's not important evidence you see it's what you do it's a doing an awakening enlightenment is a doing when you really get into the guts of what the masters did to attain their awakenings what Jesus Christ went through the, the, the initiations the teaching the the relentless uh, full-on tests in the deserts and top of Mount Sinai and he, he, he faced his stuff totally Totally trained. This is your training. How serious are you? Can you run a marathon today or are you going to train for it? So your journal is part of your training process. It's where you keep track so you know. Give yourself feedback. If you're in the Mastery Club, that's what this post is for. Drop something in. Read what other people have said. Or we can talk about it in a session. But it's important. If not, what's your excuse? What's, what's, what's the mind justification for not doing it? Thanks for listening. Notice your tummy, feel your legs. I'm Jason for the Laws of Grace Online, see you in the next video.